Hello again, it's again Miss Sonia, and I am here to teach you some more about the violin. Before we learn our next song, I'm going to show you how to bow all of your notes on the D string. So this is an exciting new adventure for us because so far we've been mostly plucking our notes on the D string. And today we're going to bow them. We're going to start with our Mississippi Stop Stop bowing rhythm just on open D. Now every time that we put a finger down on our string, it's going to feel a little bit different in our bow and in our finger. And what you're going to notice is as the bow is moving along the string, it, the string is vibrating and you're going to feel that in your fingertips. Okay? It's going to feel a little weird, a little maybe ticklish. Some students notice it more than others. So that's normal. Just pay attention and feel what that feels like in your body. So with open D, remember Mississippi stop stop goes Mississippi stop stop. Let's do that a couple times. Mississippi stop stop down up down up down up. Okay. So on open D it looks like this. And if you look, and if you're doing this right, you should be able to see that string make a, a nice vibration. So it's making a little wave. Nice job. All right, one more time on open D. Good. Now we're going to climb up the string, and it's kind of like you're climbing up a vine. One finger at a time. You're adding finger after finger. So I call this song... I'm a little monkey climbing up a ladder, even though it's more like a vine, okay? You might have heard this one before from me or another teacher. So as we add our fingers, we're climbing up the string and it's gonna feel funny because that string is gonna be moving and our bow is gonna be moving. So let's try E. So first finger on the D string. I'm a uh, Mississippi stop stop for I'm a little monkey. <laughs> Did you feel how that felt in your first finger? Yeah, so exciting. It's a little vibration. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. E on the D string. Are you ready to try the next one? All right, it's weird. Two fingers down on the D string for F sharp. Let's see how that feels. Make sure that bow stays straight in one spot on your string, okay? No banana arm. Don't do that. Nice and straight bows, okay? That feels weird too, doesn't it? All right, here we go. One more time on F sharp. Now, what are we going to add? Three fingers for what note? G, okay? Now keep all of your fingers down on the string as you do this. One, two, and three. And let's play that G. Keeping your fingers down helps you stay in tune and helps the notes sound better. I like that one. I, I always like how that feels in my third finger. Even with calluses, I can still feel that vibration. And as you play more and more and more, and you play for years and years and years like me, that is actually part of the way that you tell if you're in tune, is you can feel it in your fingertips. You can tell that you're in tune or not. So this song goes. <laughs> play that song and practice it for practicing your bowing and we're going to come back to bowing in just a minute. I'm going to teach you a song that you probably already know and it's called Mary Had a Little Lamb. If you don't know Mary Had a Little Lamb, that's okay. You're still learning a new song and now you're going to know it. Okay? So Mary Had a Little Lamb, we play with only two fingers and open D. So what are those fingers? We have open D and we have E and F sharp. Those are the only notes that we're using. So you can think about that and simplify this song in your mind. So what fingers are going to be moving on your left hand? Only your first and your second finger. Nice job. So it starts with two fingers on the D string. So let's find that nice F sharp. So start with open D. Find your first finger E and then your second finger F sharp. So let's look at the music and see if we can figure out what those first two measures are. You recognize that we have some notes and rests that you're really familiar with at this point, and they're called quarter notes and rests. That's right, quarter notes and rests. So we're starting with quarter notes, and our first one is F sharp. 
So we can say F sharp or FARP, as I sometimes say, or we can say two for two fingers. I would like to just say the note name and then I will show it to you with my fingers. So two fingers for FARP, one for E, zero for D. So let's go over those first two measures. So starting with FARP, FARP, E, D, E, FARP, 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 rest. All right, those are the first two measures. One more time. One, two, ready, sing with me, okay? FARP, E, D, E, FARP, FARP, FARP. Nice job. So let's try pitching that on our instrument. Two fingers for F sharp or FARP. I say fart because it's one syllable and it's way easier to say than F sharp. I also say carp for C sharp, but we haven't learned that one yet. So here we go. One, two, ready, play. Farp, E, D, E, farp, 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 rest. How'd that feel? One more time? Okay. One more time. Follow along with me. One, two, ready, play. Farp, E, job. Let's look at the next two measures of Mary Had a Little Lamb. What do you see first? What's that note? It might be kind of tricky to recognize because we're still learning how to read our notes first. So remember to be patient with yourself and try to use reasoning. So we just played F sharp. This note is right before F sharp and it's one note lower. So if it's one note lower than F sharp or farp, what might it be? If you said E, you're right, so one finger on D for E. E comes right before F in the alphabet, right? A, B, C, D, E, F. Or if we go backwards, F, E, D, C, B, A. So E, nice job. So the next two measures go E, 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 rest. F, farp, 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 rest. All right, let's do that one one more time. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. E, 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 rest, farp, 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 rest. All right, so those next two measures start with one finger on the D string for E. So find that first finger on the D string and let's play. And then we're gonna go up to farp. So here you go, one, two, ready, play. E, 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 rest, farp, 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 rest. Nice, so let's try putting those four measures together. One, two, Ready, play. Farp, E, D, E, farp, 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 rest. E, 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 rest. Farp, 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 rest. Nice. And the next part of Mary Had a Little Lamb repeats the first part. So you already know how to play it. Let's look at the notes. It goes farp, E, D, E, farp, farp. Farp, farp. So the only difference is we don't have that rest on the last beat of the second measure. Okay? So the first time we play it, we go farp, 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 rest. And this time we go farp, 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 and play that all the beats in the measure. Okay? So let's try that. One, two, ready, play. F, E, D, E. So that's five F sharps in a row. Nice job. Next we have, what's that first note? Remember it's one below F sharp. F sharp's on that little space, right? At the bottom of the music staff and before it is a line and that line is our E. That's right. Last two measures go E, E, F sharp, E, D, rest, rest. Rest, we're almost there, this is the finish line. Here we go. E, E, F sharp, E, D, rest, rest, rest. All right, let's put it on our instruments. Starting with what finger? One finger. One, two, ready, play. E, E, harp, E, D, rest, rest, rest. Nice, I'm gonna play the whole song through two times 
follow along with me as best you can with the music. Remember, just two fingers on the D string, E and F sharp or FARP, okay? And open D. Let's play it together two times and then I'm gonna show you how to bow it. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Nice job. That is going to be our first song that we bow. All right, so take out your bow, and just like with I'm a Little Monkey, you wanna keep that bow straight, parallel with the bridge, and in one spot on the string. Fingers on the left hand do exactly the same thing. It's just instead of pitzing like this, very close to the string, we're gonna move the bow back and forth, bowing out from our elbow, okay? I'm gonna do this really nice and slow and do your best to follow along with me. We're gonna start with a down bow. Ready, here we go. One, two, ready, play. We just stop the bow. Stop. 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 Nice job. I hope you had a lot of fun playing that. Take your time, go back and play it again, play along with me at your own pace, at your own speed, and have fun with it. Good to see you again. Can't wait to see you next time.